All right, hi everybody. Um, okay, so this is not really part three. This is like 2.5, all right? So uh, I might only do four parts. Um, so uh, like I said in the last video, I was gonna show you what you do with the stories very quickly. And then I, I gotta go back to the back of the room. I don't have a helper today, so. All right, <clears throat> so here's a story. After I tell that story for what, 20 minutes, right? Um, then I, you know, you know, just different like little assessments you can give. So here's one, here's the story, you know, a story that I would tell. Here's the paragraph, words are taken out, and then I put, I give them a word bank. Down below, answer some, pers some questions in Spanish. You know, how many sports does Claire play? What does Veronica play? What instrument? Where does Claire go every day after school? What doesn't Veronica like to do? Um, What's Veronica's boyfriend's name? Okay, um, so they'd fill in all this and then up here and then answer questions. Um, and then sometimes if I feel like it where, I don't know, I might uh, maybe not that same day, depends on how fast they get it done or maybe I'll just, um, you know, the next day uh, they could turn the sheet over and translate everything to English. Okay, so that's, so you can do that too. Or you can just give them the paragraph and then a after, after you tell the story. They don't get this until you've already circled for 20 minutes. Then you pass this out, okay? Um, so you can translate right off the, you know, just have them translate. That'd be the only thing you want them to do, maybe. Or do both, you know. Um, another thing, so let me go to the back of the room for a minute. All right. Um, so here's another one. Uh, another thing you can do. Uh, 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 let's see. Yeah, there's the translate to English. Um, here's another, <clears throat> so here's another one. Um, I did this with the Spanish twos today. So, um, I make half sheets to save paper. So here's the story. And it's all in jumbled sentences. You know, you just cut the sheet in half, give them all, everyone the half sheet. And then on line paper, they write the whole story out in Spanish. In order. <clears throat> you can do that. Um, you know, some of them, they'll number things first. You know, two, one, three, four, five, six. This is kind of a short story. I didn't do this with the twos today. I had them do something different, which I can tell you in a minute. But I did... Um, uh, you know, the story might be longer, and then they write it all out in order. Some students, they'll, they'll, I don't know why, but they'll just number them and they just turn it in, and they think that's it. I'm like, no, you're not going to just number them when they took you, what, five minutes? No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, they can number it first before they commit to writing it on paper um, in order, all right? So that's another thing you can do as a follow-up assessment. Um, what else? I took this one, and I, I like, I made like a longer list of word, like phrases, a couple, like, I chopped these sentences up a little bit and I gave it to my level twos today. So, um, yeah, okay. I'm not going to bring that up. Um, and then, or what you might want to do is, you know, you have some target phrases on, on the board after you tell the story. They don't get a handout afterwards. You just say, take out a sheet of lined paper and write everything out in Spanish as best as you can, telling me every detail, everything. It doesn't have to be in order necessarily. Roughly they're going to write in order for the most part, but, um, you know, and that's it. Okay? Um, you can just give them a huge word bank of every word from the story, and then they can use all that to help them write it out. Um, what else? Or if you want, you can... Um, have them get a sheet out, line of paper out, and write, retell everything in English in their native language. Um, but see, in a way they can, uh, but then you have to make sure they're, you're, they're specific on what they're writing and not just loosely summarizing it from basically what they see on the screen. Right? I could be, you know, you know, they could just be like, well, there was a girl and uh, her name was Veronica and uh, her friend's name is Claire and... Uh, I don't know, they're just kind of basically coming up with their own summary from just what they saw up on the screen. So, you know, you kind of want to tell them if they're rewriting it in English uh, to basically retell it to pretty much exactly what you said in the target language, word for word. We're not just loosely summarizing it. 
or you could have them do that, but I don't know. I mean, I could sit in a French class, maybe, and if I'm told everything's in the present tense and I listen to a story in, Fran in French, you know, if, if everything that this teacher is saying is represented up on the screen, like through my PowerPoints, I mean, I can figure it out. I'm like, okay, hamburger, teacher did this, so that girl likes to eat, a, eat hamburger, so I'm going to write that. I don't know what she was saying exactly in the language, but, I mean, she did this, and, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's hard to explain, if that makes sense. All right, so anyway, this was 2.5, so part three will come out soon. Um, yeah, we're getting close to the, you know, mitten here at the end of the week. So it might only be a four-part series. So I'm going to do two more or three more. This next one will be balanced, because this was really just 2.5 about post-assessment on the story. You could also make it a quiz or a test, you know, not just an, a post-assignment to the story. And they all work by themselves, and they do something where, okay, here's the paragraph, they fill in all the words from the blank, you know, from the word box, and they answer, you know, four questions, five questions based on the story. And then there might be three more questions at the end asking some personal questions about them, them themselves, okay? Um, make it a test, make it a quiz, or maybe, translating it all to English or uh, take, giving them the paragraph app. It depends if you want to make it an assignment or a test or a quiz, right? You could. Um, I guess that's about it. Kids are on their way in, so I'm going to do a story today. I may or may not record it. I think I might record it, so um, you know, stand by. Give me a couple minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll start the show. Alright, so there you go. See you soon.